how to fix your sleep schedule. So you had this problem with going to sleep late, you know, like two in the morning and waking up, uh, I don't know, 10 in the morning or I don't know, something like that. Basically stupid sleep schedule. So you want to fix that because obviously you are supposed to be awake during the day and sleep during the night. That's, that is the most optimal way to live because it is better to, it is easier to fall asleep when it's night out there uh, compared with when it's day. So, you know, the daylight, you know, shining and basically, <clears throat> and basically that is a good thing, you know, because during the day, you know, you get the sunlight, getting sunlight has a lot of benefits, you know, the vitamin D from the sun, improved mental health, you know, mood, you need the sunlight during the day and you need, uh, you know, darkness <laughs> during the night so you can sleep properly. I go to sleep uh, at 8 p.m. and wake up at 6 yeah so you have two options you either slowly progress to the times you want to wake up and go to sleep or you cut straight to the waking time slowly progressing is the healthier option because you will still get the eight hours of sleep but it will take longer so the slow progressing will take about three to four weeks of course you can go faster if you feel like it but basically uh, cut down two hours per week you know or one hour depends on how much you want to uh, <clears throat> move your sleep schedule if you were going to sleep at 2 a.m i would hold on no actually one hour per week because if you were go going to sleep at 2 a.m you will after the four weeks you will end up with going to sleep at 10 p.m which is still good if you want to wake up at seven eight ish so one hour per week uh, so yeah or half an hour in three and a half days so yeah basically that slowly progress <clears throat> and yeah it this is the healthier option because you slowly move the time when you go to sleep and waking time and the margin is still the same, you know, you still get the uh, eight hours of sleep and you st and your, your intel internal clock is still set right, you know, uh, it will slowly, pro it's good, you know, just <laughs> shit explaining, but this is the better option. But if you want to go fast, you can just co cut straight to that point, you know, you will feel tired, you know, because in one day you will have less sleep than the other and yeah, basically. That's it. And because you were sleeping late, you know, uh, like 10 in the morning, you know, you've been sleeping until 10 in the morning and now you want to wake up at 6. That means you need to go to sleep earlier and you will not just fall asleep that uh, easily because you're not tired. Or maybe you j just do something crazy and <laughs> tire yourself out to the point that you will go to sleep earlier and, and you will wake up earlier. So. This might take uh, uh, two to fr five days of feeling tired, but you know, this is what I did, so. First three days were difficult, but the other ones were just like, you know, it is what it is, so. You have these two options, make your decision now. So that's it, bro. If you like this kind of content, you know, the self-improvement tips from a guy that's on self-improvement, make sure to subscribe, join our community, like, comment, so that the video gets recommended to people that need to hear this, and yeah, have a nice day and see you next time. Peace.